Should we look to the camera sometimes, or better no? How how better? Or we should look into the camera. How you? Feel? However we want. Yeah. Sometimes we can look. Or you can look at me. And look at you. Okay. If you want, yeah, I'm gonna be a little. Bit... People will know that you are there. Maybe. Okay. Okay, I have it. Thank you for being part of this and uh, I know it was very intense and then that you might have felt lots of different things during this week but yeah I think it also might be interesting to to hear at least a few feelings that you had uh, during all these decisions have been At first, I didn't feel any uh, impulse to participate in on it. And uh, this is time uh, when I feel my heart, ha heart impulses very uh, strongly and very tender. And I know that uh, we should all follow them now so much because our hearts know everything. And um, this feeling, this impulse for me was about my own truth and uh, I didn't want uh, to participate with some senses, uh, with some meanings that didn't sound to me in this situation and in general. Uh, and uh, then when we went through this truth and uh, when we started to talk with Maria about it, how all these topics, all uh, that is happening today uh, in our countries, uh, in the world, in each of us, how it is sounds for, for our hearts and with what truth we could, we, we could co-create such project. And, uh, then we felt uh, so much that uh, through us uh, it will be like so like sounds and voices of of our planet of Earth that wants to talk that wants to say many things and uh, we started uh, to feel our material to feel new meanings. And uh, my, my woman, my woman Earth, today came to say um, that this uh, dark time, huge darkness, it will pass, it will change. And uh, new wave, new light, and new realities will come and they are already coming to the earth and uh, through our hearts and uh, also this darkness wants to say that when it is accepted by all of us, by each of us, it is huge power of each of us. It is it is huge power with which we all came to this earth. Our souls came to this earth, and this is time. This is new epoch. Is to realize it and to start being these creators of these new lives. Lives and realities uh, of, of our souls. This is my voice. I will go with the story. So how, how tell us your side. I mean, uh, the me, same side. Same side. <laughs> well, for me, it's the story, like the human story. Because I think, like, actually, it's my you know, the way I live, like through human stories. That's the way I work. And for me, 
it was the morning when I woke up and I felt something was wrong. And I woke up because normally, because we live together. And normally, if I wake up at nine o'clock, it's like silent. <laughs> but this time I woke up at nine o'clock with someone entering the house. And the first thing that I heard after you entering the house is that the war started. And that was a, a shock. It was a, a shock and uh, something that couldn't fit into the head. And something that I was trying to fit into the head for the next few weeks. And then it was even more because the second strong moment was, um, well, when the war inter entered into your hometown. And that was very, uh, even stronger and even more overwhelming. That I remember really strong when I went into, when I was going out and then I, I passed by and I saw you like, like, I don't know, I could just like feel something like something happened and we, I got to know that the army ent entered into your hometown and we went to the park and we stayed on the land and we were dancing and we were voicing like whatever was coming out. And that night that we were in front with the candles, like looking at, I don't know, praying, praying that it will, that the fire on the power plant will, will be stopped. And it was the moment when I really felt also for, for me that I really don't care like who is right, who is wrong in this war. I just want those who can take the decisions in the moment, take the decisions that will bring us to life, not to death. And, and then, and then there was this moment, a very difficult one, when I had to say no to someone who could come to our house. And that was even more difficult because that was the moment when I asked like myself, okay, what do I, I mean, would I be able to cope with that? And my true answer was no, that I would not be able to cope with that because I'm <laughs> like, I'm so overwhelmed that I'm not coping. And I had to choose me and that was also the challenge and then and then there was this wave of hatred like all over the world going towards Russia that was uh, painful for me because my body is from Russia and although I haven't lived there for nine years this was a very strange moment when I suddenly felt that When I suddenly felt love, which was totally un irrational in this moment, because there was like the shame, the guilt, like in the air, like for those who didn't support it. And, and I felt like that I feel not love, not to what is happening, like not love to the, to what it, like, because it's something that is beyond me, but I feel, suddenly I felt very connected to my, I don't know, I saw, I felt very connected to the land. And that was another like love <laughs> that came in here. And then I was trying to make sense like, okay, what, what is where like, and like helping my mind to find like at least some grounding until I actually understood there is no way for the mind to find any grounding in the situation. And then there was this moment when there was this con the concert that 
I was really like because I was experiencing all, all this like you know hatred like coming onto me as like onto my Russian body I would say and then I thought how can I like go there like to the like and then like be kind of part of the country story like because I felt like before so much beyond like like human like beyond the country and then I fe felt like I will come because I love you and it's important for me to to come in this way and when I came there there were two girls on the stage like two Spanish girls who came on the stage and they said and they came with a poster we don't want any war and this touched me so much and that was the moment now I see it when I felt okay I don't need to understand what is happening because it's not about understanding it's about like it's about feeling love so whatever comes and giving and no and being this love through whatever comes and being and the rest is not I mean you can play around with the mind, with the concepts and with everything like whatever the, and that's what is happening like that's it's a game of the concepts around it but the heart is always telling like like when you see the kid like standing there like you know you know the truth you don't need it to be it's not the truth is not the concept the truth is what how like I don't know <laughs> I know it's here and it's and it's just there and it's and it's the same for hu human beings. I don't know. Yeah, like creation of all these old concepts, mental things to to so deep truths and where you have no doubts. You 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 just feel and you know and mm -hmm. you just feel that. As long as I'm capable to transcend it all and feel the love, I'm alive. And that's the only thing that matters. And this is what I feel felt so strongly these days, that uh, when you feel such huge pain, and there is so much pain now, the only thing that can do something with it, help somehow. It is just this pure love, just love through pain, like and this like like transmutation of this this painful realities energy to like to to totally another like another level of, of being. And uh, this is what what is going on now. As like all big changers they are very like not easy so and for many of us and i feel big thankfulness to all actually people who who go through who and to to this project and to you and uh, for what we are doing right now it is this creation like through all these layers, all these layers, like this, this new, new creations and new, new human, new we, and it is incredible, like huge, huge magic and new minds. And something that is able to find connections through through whatever is through whatever is trying to separate and I feel this is the key like and I think I feel this is the key of the project as well because the project itself like brought up so many talks 
and processes and it was an, not an easy process and to be able to actually make it is already a, a, a victory yeah yeah this, this is like because if you try to go like in the truth like and feeling like okay i can be here only if it's true for me the way to this truth is a huge work yeah and it it's beautiful. and this is the beauty of the project and of the city all of everything like of this work that we need to do to to be united not separated yeah. and i also f i'm feeling how like we are not it's not just about some new new people new humanity new new planet but it is like all gifts all gold through epochs through all our generation ancestors all this power like golden power that is going like right now appreciation all this everything and like all this power our with us now and it's like like we are all together and we all deserve this like new new life and yeah. I, I i know i believe that we will go through it and we are all in it together like every human of the world right now yes. we are all in it like one and together each of us going through our own path Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You stop. It was beautiful. It was power. Mm. Thank you for this yeah, opportunity to, to give place to these voices.